Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a glowing watermark with your video behind it. So let's get on with it. Okay, first what you're going to do is just pre-comp your videos, control shift C and just pre-compose them. Um, and now you can duplicate it, so control C and control V. Add your text with whatever you want it to say. Mine is always like a wavers. The font I used is Cool Vector, I think it is. I'll type it up on the screen and you can find that on the font. Once you've added your text, like adjust it to fit your video and then you can play around with the size. Um, once you have done that, just adjust it to where you want it. And then um, for some reason it did not show up in the screen recording, but click on your text layer and you want to click on to blending mode, I'll get a photo for you guys. And you want to scroll down to the bottom and I think it's called stencil alpha, which then it will make the, it'll show the video and the text. And anyway, now shrink the video and put it behind the text. So now you can see it's like a black screen with a little bit of video under my text. That's exactly what you want. Now just pre-compose the top two, so the first video and your text. And now you've got the base of the watermark. Okay. Once you have done that and it looks good, you will be adding a drop shadow. So click on the video, go to layer styles and click drop shadow. Now go into effects and presets and search exposure. So that one there and pop it onto the top layer. Now just, just adjust that and you can use my settings, which is 0.22 um for the exposure and then now you're going to need the effect glow go ahead and pop that effect onto the top layer where the text is and go ahead and just that leave the top one as 60 then change the one under it to 95.0 but you can just press enter and it automatically does that now go ahead and change add to soft light um and make sure that one says on original colors you can have it on a and b colors but it doesn't look as good um now change the color phase to one um plus 35 <laughs> and then now i didn't realize when i was screen recording it but with the a and b midpoint you don't need to change any of that unless you didn't want the original colors anyway there you go hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, hope many more to come.